Oh, well, listen, when it comes to dieting, I know it plays a very important role to make sure you get all the right nutrients in for, you know, your age group, your, your health, your weight, to, to keep everything balanced. Absolutely. But I think the most difficult thing is understanding what mm. type of diet is correct for you. So this morning, we're helping you out a bit. Today, Lisa is at Morals Boutique Hotel in Northcliffe, setting the record straight with dietitian Nicola about which diets work best. Nicola, we're living in an era of information overload. There's just so much info out there and yet so much is so conflicting. I could feel sorry for people. Can you give us some like, really good nuggets, you know, some universal tips that everybody can use um, when it comes to their health, you know, changes that they can make that are simple and easy? Yeah, I think we need to make sure we're eating less of the processed foods. We need to be eating a lot more whole fresh foods and making sure that we, we're cutting out our refined sugars, more of the healthy quality fats, less of the processed fats, and a lot more of our lean protein sources in the diet. And what can one do about improving their digestive health? Uh, it's amazing what research is actually coming through about the importance of a healthy gut for weight loss specifically. What we need to do as some practical tips would be to increase the five F's in the diet. F number one stands for fiber. We need to increase our flora in the diet either from food sources or we can take probiotic supplements. And we need to increase fluid which will help us to aid digestion. We need fitness, we need to be getting out there and getting active. And lastly we need that fun component which is de-stressing, pleasure in the lifestyle, pleasure in our uh, daily activities to reduce our overall stresses. Smoothies are a great digestion friendly and healthy meal source. Packing them with fruit, healthy fats and lots of protein means you get a balanced meal in just a few minutes. Nicola, this is one of my all-time favorite recipes. It's a chocolatey peanut butter smoothie, and I think you can concur most women love anything chocolatey or peanut buttery flavored. It's also quick and easy, and all these ingredients I always have in the comfort of my own home. But I think a lot of people want to know, um, if you are vegan, how much protein do you need to be taking in, in a day, and what does that look like? It's about walking that fine balance between how much protein is required, and your average female is looking at about 0.8 grams to one gram per kilogram every single day of protein. That can be achieved through getting in a cup of lentils, a cup of chickpeas and 50 grams of tofu in a day. Obviously the protein powders are really easy and they're a great addition to a smoothie or a shake but you can also meet it through your plant-based food sources as well. Okay so I'm gonna make my recipe. I hope you like it. I'm sure I will. <laughs> this recipe is for one so we'll just share it out at the end. So the first ingredient is going to be one cup of your low-fat milk. Then measure out one tablespoon of your raw cacao powder, one tablespoon of peanut butter, okay, then a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, then one scoop of your whey protein powder, okay, and then one banana, and then a big handful of ice. Last ingredient is um, I've taken three capsules of digestive enzymes and literally open them up and you can sprinkle them inside your smoothie just to aid with digestion. So that's it, everything's in my, my beaker and let's go. So with the digestive enzymes, it's definitely something that needs to be done on an individualized basis. You do need to consult with a health professional if it is something that you are worried about for digestive processes. But they definitely can um, help people who are lactose intolerant or who have difficulty digesting complex foods and that can aid with the digestive process to make food a lot more tolerable. Looks good, eh? <laughs> oh, yum. Cheers! Cheers! Mmm, yum! Divine, him. Huh? I'm good, hey? <laughs> Let's go and enjoy it. I love this concept of smoothies. It's a quick and easy, healthy breakfast that we can all make. It's also really important not to load your smoothies with too many calories because you could actually end up drinking a lot more calories than you would ever eat at one sitting. It's really important to make sure that you're getting that balance in your smoothie where you're getting the good quality carbohydrates. In the smoothie, it's in the form of your banana, which is high in antioxidants, or it could be in whole grains like oats. Then we need to make sure we're getting the healthy fats, so your nut butter or nuts or seeds, and then make 
making sure that we also get that protein either from your protein powders or from your low-fat dairy. There are so many different types of diets in the market. You know, there's the cabbage soup one, there's carb conscious ones, there's high protein ones, there's your blood group diets. I mean, it's really confusing. It's so, so confusing and that's why the first port of call should always be to see an expert and the medical nutrition therapy that they can provide is going to suit your lifestyle and your condition. But in practice, we're seeing a lot of more of the carb conscious options. So we're looking at about 40 to 45 percent of total energy from the diet coming in in the form of good quality carbohydrates that are high in fiber and rich in nutrients. Otherwise, we can also look at a DASH approach, which is more for people who have high blood pressure and it's a much lower fat, lower salt approach. And then there's also the Mediterranean approach, which is very popular. It's our favorite. Yeah, it's delicious and, and rich, rich in, in healthy fats. And then it has a very balanced approach to the other macronutrients, proteins and carbohydrates, and a lot more emphasis on seafood and um, fresh fish rather than the animal proteins. The perfect place to start, Dischem. They've got advice from the experts, delicious recipes, and amazing food products that make healthy eating easy. Well, there you have it. Well, we all know trying to eat healthy is actually so overwhelming. And although there's a ton of great advice out there, it's often difficult knowing which plan is right for you. But if you are struggling on where to start or what to do, Dischem offers a wide variety of resources to assist you from expert advice in their stay well clinics to delicious recipes and amazing food products that make healthy eating so much easier. Yeah, absolutely, man. There's a ton of help out there. And to get you going on the right track, Dischem have a healthy lifestyle foods hamper up for grabs this week. Now, to win, all you have to do is SMS the keyword Dischem to 33728. That's Dischem to 33728. And of course, every time you enter, you receive a free entry into that grand prize draw where you could win 12,000 Rand in Dischem vouchers, which is huge. Mm -hmm. But of course, with all good things, terms and conditions do apply. SMSs are charged at 1 Rand 50 and no free SMSs apply. Dischem, pharmacists who care.